Of Mice and Men is a novel written by John Steinbeck in 1937. Based on Steinbeck's experience as an itinerant farmhand during the 1920s, Of Mice and Men is the story of two opposites, the clever, wiry George Milton and the gentle giant Lenny Small. In the course of charting George and Lenny's journey from one ranch to the next, Steinbeck explores the search for comfort, decency, and companionship in a cruel and lonely world. Set in Depression-era California, the novel opens on two migrant farm workers traveling alongside the Salinas River. As they walk, the brainy George scolds his enormous, mentally disabled friend Lenny for complaining about not having ketchup for their nightly dinner of beans. Despite George's remarks that he would be better off without Lenny, he is clearly loyal to and protective of his good-natured friend. Through their conversations, we learn that Lenny was wrongly accused of rape while working at a farm in the nearby town of Weed, after he touched a woman to feel her soft dress. George warns Lenny not to speak when they arrive at their new place of employment, a ranch in Soledad. George also reminds Lenny that should he get into trouble again, he is to wait for George in the brush near the river. Despite their frequent quarrels, George soothes Lenny by repeating the story of their dream to buy a parcel of land where they can farm vegetables and raise rabbits. Lenny is especially fixated on having a rabbit hutch as he enjoys touching soft things, but often ends up accidentally crushing animals due to his inordinate strength. George and Lenny reach the ranch in Soledad where they meet Candy, an older employee with one hand. Candy tells the men that the boss was angry. They didn't arrive the previous night. Soon, the boss joins them and immediately takes note of Lenny's mental impairment. When he asks George why they travel as a pair, George lies, saying that Lenny is his cousin. The men also meet Curly, the boss's son, a short, insecure man who hates large men like Lenny and is prone to fits of jealousy when his new wife flirts with such men. That night, Curly's wife visits the bunkhouse to flirt with the men, causing Curly to pick a fight with George. But George resists engaging with Curly, insisting that he prefers, quote, whores to tarts, end quote, like Curly's wife since there's no danger of angering jealous husbands at a whorehouse. After a day of work, the men return to the bunkhouse. Slim, another ranch hand whose dog has just given birth, gives Lenny a puppy. George admits to Slim that he and Lenny nearly escaped a lynch mob at their previous jobs after Lenny was accused of rape. Meanwhile, Carlson, Another pot-bellied ranch hand complains that Candy's decrepit dog stinks and offers to put it out of its misery using his gun. Candy relents, despite his obvious attachment to the creature. One day, Candy overhears George talking to Lenny about the property they plan to buy. Candy offers to pitch in $350 on the condition that he can live and work on the farm with George and Lenny. The two friends agree enthusiastically, but their excitement is overshadowed when Curly arrives looking for his wife. When he suspects Lenny of laughing at him, Curly picks a fight, which Lenny ends easily by crushing Curly's hand. Despite Lenny's fight with Curly, George feels comfortable enough to leave Lenny and accompany the other men to the local whorehouse. While he is gone, Lenny talks to Crooks, the black stable hand. Since the other men shun Crooks due to his race, Crooks is initially prickly towards Lenny, but softens to him when he realizes that Lenny is harmless. Candy joins them, bringing up the plan for their farm. 
Crooks expresses interest in joining the plan when Curly's wife arrives, flirting with the men out of loneliness. But when Crooks tells her that she is not supposed to be in his room, she belittles him and even threatens to have him lynched. The next day, Lenny accidentally kills his puppy when he pets it too hard. Curly's wife finds him in the barn and takes pity on him. She admits that she is similarly lonely as she dislikes her husband and mourns her dream of becoming a movie star. When Lenny expresses interest in stroking her soft hair, she lets him, but eventually becomes fearful of his touch and screams. In an attempt to cover her mouth, Lenny unintentionally breaks her neck and then flees the ranch. Before long, Candy and George come upon the woman's body, inferring Lenny's guilt. Candy alerts the other men, and Curly forms a party to search for and kill Lenny. In the meantime, George steals Carlson's gun, leading the other men to think that Lenny took it before he escaped. George points the men in the wrong direction and finds Lenny in the designated hiding spot. Lenny hallucinates about his Aunt Clara, as well as a giant rabbit who warns that George will be angry at Lenny for ruining their plan to buy a farm. While George reassures Lenny that they can still have the rabbit hutch, he also secretly prepares to shoot his friend using Carlson's gun. When the other men rush toward the sound of the gunshot, George tells them that he shot Lenny in self-defense only Slim understands the truth, that George gave his friend the more merciful death.